can adopt on behalf of the society sentiments uh, and things like that. And I, I see no reason why the business meeting couldn't uh, adopt a motion that a, that a letter be sent. And it's really kind of up to the presiding officers to the mechanism by which that's executed. Right. Um, so we could have a motion, a resolution of the, this business meeting now that they regret any distress caused to the uh, Le Guin estate and directing an officer of the business meeting to send such a letter at some point in the future. Sure. That sounds like a reasonable expression of what Terry was after. Request, make a request, don't direct. I accept that amendment. Right. That the business meeting resolves that they regret any distress caused to the uh, Le Guin estate by uh, the proposal and withdrawal of the uh, renaming of the Lodestar award and uh, further directs that the uh, business meeting staff uh, communicate this to the estate. Big request. Re Dr. perry -Ann. Thank you. perry -Ann Lurie, could the business meeting ask the Mark Protection Committee, which will still be in existence, to draft that and send that letter? No, I don't think the business meeting could. Not by resolution. It is not within the powers of the Mark Protection Committee because it does not protect a mark. Uh, it is, the Lodestar award is the mark. Yes. Todd. Uh, microphone, please, Todd. I'm not timing any of this, by the way. Well, we haven't set time. I know, that's why I don't know. Can we have five minutes already expired? A lot of the problem is Mr. Rack. Can make it a request? Yeah. No problem. Todd Dashoff, Mr. Chairman, could you please inform the membership where we stand with regard to Ms. Neal's request? Because I would like to propose an amendment to Ms. Geisler's. Uh, motion, and I'm not sure if we're at it yet or we still have to wait for it. We still have to wait for it. Still have to wait for that. Okay. We're talking about uh, Ms. Neal's resolution, which currently um, resolves that the business meeting regrets any offence caused to the uh, Le Guin estate and requests that the uh, current podium staff write a letter expressing this. Anybody else wish to speak to that resolution? Kent. I'm Kent Bloom, Mr. Chairman. While I have absolutely every respect for Ms. Le Guin, um, and I believe it is appropriate for us to, to uh, adopt a resolution of condolences to her uh, estate, I do not think that the business meeting should accept that members of the business meeting can bring the business meeting in, in, into disrepute with impunity uh, and that we will acknowledge that. Members of the business meeting who are working on or considering business to bring before the meeting are doing so in their own capacity as members and not as part of the World Science Fiction Society and we should not be apologizing for them. Thank you, Kent. Uh, Terry, you wish to speak? It was not my intention to prefer an apology. Merely support and respect. Thank you. Uh, Josh. Second. Very well. Those in favor of the resolution? Uh, oh, sorry, previous question. Yeah. End debate. End debate, is to end debate. Does anybody wish to speak further to this motion? Seeing none, uh, the motion to uh, close debate. Those in favor of closing debate, show. Those against closing debate, none. Those in favor of the resolution, please. Oh, restate. Linda, do you have whatever it was we came up with? <laughs> yeah, hold on. Um, Your microphone has wandered. <laughs> what I have, and we can reword it, is that the Wisps Business Meeting regrets any distress caused the Laguna estate, and that the chair should communicate with the estate those feelings. 
Those in favour of that resolution, please show. Few. Those against, please show. I think the nays have it. Division. Please, those in favour of the resolution, please stand. Twenty-three, four. Those against the resolution, please stand and count. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, That is 23 in favour, 31 against the motion. The resolution therefore fails. Uh, is there any other business before we adjourn for the, the business meeting? Well. And because people keep coming up and asking yes, me, right. Kevin Stanley, the Wuspus Mark Protection Committee will meet, yes, it's a pea in a barrel, in this room, uh, 11.30 tomorrow morning. Tomorrow, which is Monday, that is not today, but tomorrow at 11.30. If anybody else in this room still doesn't know when the Mark Protection Committee meeting uh, is, I have no sympathy for you at all. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Um, Todd, is your motion to amend the adjournment? In that case, I, I have one further thing to do. Yeah, one further thing to do before we um, uh, adjourn sine die, which is to present my Deputy Jesse Lip, who is chairing next year with a ceremonial crab mallet from Constellation Worldcon 83. <laughs> I like to have a crab mallet up here on the uh, podium <laughs> to hit people with. <laughs> Deb, back to you. Mr. Chairman, I um, would like to move that the business meeting adjourn sine die in honor of Milt Stevens and Julian May, um, late um, and former World Con chairs, and to also thank the podium staff for their excellent job. Thank you. Todd, you wish to speak. Todd, do you wish to speak still? Thank you very much. Right, any, in favour of the adjourning so? Against adjourning so? Business meeting is adjourned sine die till Dublin. Yeah, where do you rent five minutes over the schedule?